The game was released just in time, uh, just fine. Uh, we didn't uh, miss in not even one day. You might be led to think that it was somehow easy, but it was not. This is my diary. It's the first time I read through the, the days of, of the lockdown. The 6th of March, uh, it was a Friday, and we were closing MotoGP 20 uh, for the submission process. So uh, we already had some, some news, some, some limitations, some warnings, and, and the contagion was, was ramping up. And then I read that on, on the 8th, there, there was chaos, like people fleeing from Milan by train, uh, massing in, in the station. Uh, I was watching this on TV too, and it, it was strange because we were super tired, because finishing the game was super hard. We, we were through some three straight weekends of work, and, and then you mix your, your, your feelings about things that are very personal to what's happening and you see on TV. It was clear from the numbers that the pandemic was spreading quickly. So on Monday, we were not getting back to the office and it was very evident that we were dealing with something big that we were going to have to, to deal with for the next weeks and months. There was a, a week, very complex, very frightening somehow, uh, with, with uh, lots of uh, communications, lots of problems to overcome. But we were quick, we were quick. It's just the beginning of the end, the beginning of a process that leads to the printed game. And so uh, it could have been worse if it was something like two weeks or three weeks before, but it was not ideal by any means. Everyone in the team had it, its own personal issues because, uh, take my example, I live uh, some 50 kilometers from uh, Milan, nowhere close to the to the epicenter uh, of the contagion. So we, we, we somehow felt safer. Uh, other people in Milan were locked in small apartments, far from their family, and or uh, with, with different personal issues. The first days, we were calling people on the phone and you could have someone hearing like babies crying or, uh, uh, you know, all the normal things that can happen in a house, but uh, can propagate through the phone uh, and you have to take patience and know that uh, <laughs> there is no other way to do it. You just have to wait, uh, the baby is going to come down and, and you keep on. So uh, I think that many people were much more in trouble. I think I've been extremely lucky. Most of them, uh, I just bought them during or past the, the lockdown. As a stress relief, conscious or not, there are people that kept cooking like hell or kept uh, making gym, and then there are possibly other people that kept buying Star Wars stuff. <laughs> Which is your favorite? Uh, I'd say all of them, unfortunately. Uh, I'm not going to, to part from any of these anytime soon. Uh, they're all uh, complementary. They, they need all to be together. But I kept these for you because um, it's one of the things that I used to keep up with the shadow during the lockdown. So in April it was super, super dense. In May, much less. We had some deadlines. Then we have June again with some other stuff being delivered. Then you have July with much less. I did not want to have 
four screens on, on my desk here and on, with only one, one, one screen sometimes you need to talk on the phone, watch on one screen and then make yourself an idea on paper. I used the TV downstairs with the PlayStation to play and intentionally it's not in the same place. So when I play, I play. You have to uh, enter into the pace that players will have. So sit on the sofa, see your virtual riders do their race, understand if it's okay or not. So you have to take your time. And then I climb up here and I sit and I keep up with the messages, with the mails. So uh, I prefer to keep separate. So when I'm doing one thing, I'm doing it properly. I've done this myself. I've been excavating and, and building the, 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 the fish pond. Even during the lockdown, the, with, the, with the garden uh, this big, I could, uh, I could go out jogging. Did you jog around in the garden? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> how, how, how many laps did you do? Uh, something like, I don't know, 20 laps uh, or, or more. When the lockdown came, you, you felt like you, you were actually safer because not having contacts, transports, uh, random people. The, I remember going out and the, the market was, was like deserted. Uh, you had queues, but when you were inside, there was like nothing. So when you, when you got home, you washed, you cleaned yourself and you say, okay, I'm safe. And, and, and we've been so. Overall, we, we've been able to, to keep on in a uh, strangely similar way. It, it didn't change completely the habits or the way we were working. You, you get into a different routine with its own uh, pros and its own uh, uh, cons, but uh, you, you, we, we as a team adjusted quite quickly into something we could keep the pace, because it, it's the point. To, to find the way uh, you can sustain for months, for weeks, for, for possibly a long time because we, we don't know yet when we'll be back in the office in, in, in full time. I think it's sustainable. I think that if we need to do this, if we need to work this way, we have shown that we can do it. Obviously, it's not ideal. Um, there are many people that are uh, suffering uh, more than others. There are people that just like to sit, work on their own, headphones on. For, for people like this, there is not a big difference. Um, but there are other people that are very social, that need to have exchanges, that like to, I don't know, to sit with them, to check some things dynamically, or, you know, it's, it's different. And these people are suffering a lot more. But uh, in, in the broad picture, as a team, as a company, I think that we could sustain this. It's, it, one of the weird things is that new people are coming in. We are hiring new people. And so uh, sometimes you get to talk with people you have never met in person. And this is weird. This is very weird. Usually uh, it's like you welcome people coming in, you say goodbye to people getting out, and, and this is not happening. And this is one of the weirdest things. One of the things that is problematic in here, there's always someone yeah. making noises every day. There's, a, there's someone trying to vacuum clean their, their garden. 